Well, Matia, welcome to Birmingham City Football Club. You've signed on a season-long loan. Just um, sum up your initial thoughts for us, first of all. Yeah, I'm delighted to be here. Um, settled in really well with the lads. I know a few of the boys already so from previous clubs. So, yeah, I'm really happy to be here and I've uh, settled in nicely. Your case is a little bit different to new signings because you've been on trial here for a few weeks already. So how have you found the past few weeks around the training ground and around the lads? Oh, I've really enjoyed it. Um, you know, uh, I got the shout of, uh, you know, the gaffer wants to have a look at me and... Um, I said yes straight away because I backed myself and know what I can do. So, um, so yeah, it was an obvious decision for me to come and, and show what I can do and it's paid off. And when you're on trial, is it a case of trying to just do what you ordinarily would and, and not let it get into your head that you're on show and you have to impress? Yeah, I think, um, you know, even when it comes up to big stages, sometimes you want to over impress and that's when you start to make mistakes. Um, I think just knowing what, you, what you're supposed to do, knowing what you're doing, knowing your own role really helps you keep you calm and, and helps you perform well. Yeah, take us through your, your career to date, because of course born here, but then end up in Anderlecht, so it's a bit of an interesting story. Yeah, so uh, I'm born in the UK and um, ended up growing up in, um, in Brussels in Belgium and uh, started my football journey in Anderlecht um, and was there for uh, over 10 years um, with Max as well. Um, so we met there and um, I moved to uh, Aston Villa and then to Wolves, had a few loans in the process. And uh, yeah, so this is another part of my journey um, that I'm looking forward to. And it was Andy Marshall himself who brought you back from Anderlecht to England. So is it good to be back united with him and, and working with him, knowing what he's all about? Yeah, of course. Um, I've known, I've known Marshy for quite a long time now since we were together at Villa. And um, yeah, we get along well and, uh, you know, he works as hard, really hard. So um, I'm enjoying it. Of course, with Neil Etheridge, he's going to be afforded time to recover from yes. having COVID earlier this month. There's an opportunity there for you to fight for the number one shirt. Is that your number one priority now? You come in to try and establish yourself as part of that team? Yeah, of course. Um, that's why I've come in. Um, you know, I back myself and um, it's my, my shirt to lose. And, and um, you know, I'm going to do everything I can to, to, to keep it and uh, help the team out and and get positive results. Yeah. Still in goalkeeper terms, a young goalkeeper as well, but is there all those loan experiences? Do you feel like you're getting better with every experience that you're having going out and getting first team experience? Yeah, every loan you get um, different experiences, new learning opportunities. So wherever I go, I always try and learn as much as I can. Um, I think of myself as someone who absorbs information pretty quickly. So um, even with the different styles, with the gaffer, trying to implement a different style this season, you know, I, I learn pretty quickly and, and uh, it won't be a problem for me. Yeah, and in terms of a goalkeeping style, I mean, first of all, your job is to keep the ball out the back of the net, but yeah. how do you sort of think of yourself as a goalkeeper? I think of my, myself as a goalkeeper as um, I have a lot of presence. Um, I like to command the players around me and command my box. And um, I also like to play with my feet um, and help the players out when they need it. And, um, and yeah, just, uh, you know, I want to be a positive impact on the team and help us um, get plenty of positive results. Mm. A word on international experience as well, of course, represented uh, Montenegro on various age groups all the way through to a senior debut just over 18 months ago. It must have been a proud moment for you and your family. Yeah, it was. I really enjoyed it and um, hopefully more to come, uh, more games to come. And hopefully this joint journey here with, uh, with Birmingham City will improve that. Less than two weeks now until the start of the season. I think everybody we've spoken to over these past month and a half has have just been willing for the season to come around to start and get back out there in front of supporters yeah. again. Just sort of share that feel-good factor around the place. Yeah, definitely. Even um, on the game of the weekend, just when the uh, supporters started singing just before the game, I was getting goosebumps and so uh, so were the lads. So, you know, it's definitely it's definitely something that we're looking forward to, um, a full stadium as well. And uh, just the fact that with COVID and having actually a proper pre-season um, <laughs> is massive, I think, and, and will put us in good stead for the season. Well, Matthias, thanks for talking to us and look forward to following you this year. Thank you very much.